Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to use trim, weld, and intersect to create fun and exciting designs. Let's start with a new page, a new design page. Select Home and New for a new page. Next, let's select the Tools tab. And let's just draw some simple artwork shapes to show how this works. So let's start with a triangle. We can click and drag a triangle. And let's choose another shape. Let's do a star. And we'll click and drag a star so that part of it is over the top of the triangle. If yours didn't draw exactly over the top of the triangle, you can always use the select tool and move your design so that it is more on top of the other design. All right, next, we want to be able to use trim, weld, and intersect, which are over here underneath the modify tab. So you'll notice that they're all grayed out right now. They're here in the shaping section. I need to select both of my designs to be able to use trim, weld, or intersect. So we'll come down here to the bottom right-hand corner, click on the sequence view in my lower sidebar window, my properties window, and if I click here on all items, it selects both of my items. You'll notice now that trim, weld, and intersect are available. So let's look and see what these designs do to each other. Um, there's a little drawing right at the top that shows what it's going to do to our shape. So if I click trim, notice how it moves the star on top of the triangle. So whichever artwork comes second or is loaded second or is more forward in the design is the one that will show over the top. Let's click undo and let's look at what weld does. Weld takes and puts the two shapes together to create a new outline. So we got rid of that extra part of the star there and the line that went through there. So it creates the outline of the two shapes. Once again, I'm going to click undo and then we'll click intersect. Oh, I need to have my design selected. Let's not forget. We'll just come over here in our sequence view, click on all items. Now we'll click on intersect. And what intersect does is it just leaves the two parts of the design that intersect over the top of each other, left as a new design to use. That's the way that you use trim, weld, and intersect. They're three great tools to create new designs.